Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to complete the side quest Trouble on the Cape here in Dragon's Dogma 2, so let's jump into it. So this is one of those side quests that's going to start automatically during a different side quest called Redvent of Calamity. Now I already have a video for that one on the channel, so if you haven't started that one you can check it out and work your way through it. But essentially that one's going to bring you to the town of Harv and you're going to have to save some soldiers that are in the cave, which is exactly what this Trouble of the Cape quest is going to be, essentially the same deal. When you get to the town, as you progress through the Redvent of Calamity quest, eventually you will come across two guys, Bjorn as well as Jonas, and they're just standing right in the middle of Harv. So as you work through it, you will find them, you can't miss them, and they will be arguing about sending people on a rescue attempt to go save a guy that's deep down in the cave and is trapped. Uh, and they're going to argue about it for a little bit until Ulrika shows up, and Ulrika's going to come over be like, I'm over this, I'm going to save this guy, and then is going to run up to the cave. However, she's going to leave without us, and we have to go find her. Now, once the side quests start, all we're going to do is work our way up to the cave. We'll show you the location on the map, just in case you don't know how to get there. But once you make it into the cave, you want to work your way towards the beach and look left, and you guys will see an entrance that you can actually get into the underground. Uh, and we're just going to go as far down as we can. Now, once we make it down low, we'll end up finding the other members of the rescue party. And once you meet up with them, they're essentially going to ask you to lead the way. And the first part here is pretty straightforward. All you want to do is follow the main path down into the cave. There's really only one direction that you can go from the beginning, so you can't get lost early on. But one thing you want to pay attention to is your mini map on the bottom left. You want to pay attention to where you get to the spot where there's multiple directions to go. And it almost looks like there's a little black circle on your mini map in the middle of all those different directions that you can go. When you find that area, you want to climb up on the rocks and you'll see in the video, we're just going to stay on the right side once we climb up and we're going to go down that pathway. Now be careful because that pathway is pretty dangerous. That is the direction that we need to go to save this guy, but there's going to be even more enemies on this pathway. It's not super far back, but you will run into uh, a lot of the scaly invaders. So uh, keep an eye out on those guys. Just be prepared to do a lot of fighting when you first go in there. I recommend being a little bit of a higher level as well as having some pretty good gear because, again, there's a lot in there. But once you make it through, you'll find the guy in the back. He's going to be surrounded by enemies. All you're going to have to do is finish defeating all the other enemies that are in there. Once you're able to take all of them out, you can just walk up to him and the dialogue will automatically queue and uh, you'll be able to talk to him and he'll be excited that you came and saved him and the villagers will be excited that you saved him. Now, once you save him, the remaining of this quest is to get him out. So really all you need to do is turn around and go the way that you just got in. Take him back out of the cave. You shouldn't run into an issue when I did this. There were a couple other enemies that were sleeping, and I was able to just run right past them. They didn't wake up, and I was, it was just a straight shot out of the cave. And, uh, and once you make it out of the cave, you can just work your way back down into the town. There will be a yellow circle that you can kind of walk towards. And once you enter that yellow circle, it will uh, automatically trigger uh, the final dialogue uh, options. And you will have a little bit more dialogue. You can sit through that. And once that dialogue finishes, the quest will be complete. But this is how to complete the Trouble on the Cape side quest. Hopefully this video helps some of you guys out. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you in the next one.